So I don't want Billy mad at me <laughs> deviating from the script. That's the last time you'll work in this city. Just Don't shave your beard me. off and stay home. <laughs> Welcome back to Carter's Country. This is Justin Carter, joined today with Jeff Bradley of Christensen Arms. Uh, we've already been outside, shot a few of his guns, and got a little uh, time on the range with each one of them. As usual, great products and happy to have you here. Justin, you need to know we're very, very glad to be here. We value our relationship with your stores. You guys have a wonderful business model down here. And the way I look at it, we just provide the world-class firearms for your world-class stores down here. So we're glad to be here. Well, it's always nice to see two family-run businesses operating together. Exactly. It doesn't have, happen that often. We have legacies to uphold, and so it works good together. Perfect. We'll jump into the guns real quick. Uh, the first one that we're going to look at is the 6.5 MPP. Modern Precision Pistol, yes, sir. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the gun? I do, yeah. It's uh, What we've done with the MPP, the Modern Precision Pistol, is we've actually built upon the foundation established by our Modern Precision Rifle. The MPR, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes, was the NRA 2020 Rifle of the Year. We won the Golden Bullseye Award with that rifle. And so we took all the best features from that platform and transferred them over to the Modern Precision Pistol. This, this model, fills a little gap in our lineup of firearms that we've never had before. And just by way of introduction, if I can hold that oh, yeah. just for oh, a yes. second, Justin, we've got our same receiver as the MPR, carbon fiber hand guard made by us, carbon fiber barrel, uh, the SB Tactical minimalist pistol grip will fold, so it's very compact and portable. That stabilizing brace is a key part to the rifle. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much all traditional MPR stuff. So we took the best features of the MPR and incorporated them in the Modern Precision Pistol. And this happens to be Mr. Carter's gun. So I'm gonna try really hard not to drop it. <laughs> I do not need me dropping his rifle on camera. That would be no bueno. Probably so, not, but he, I think he's got a few extras, so we're good. Well, we'd uh, be that as it may, I'm still not gonna drop it. So, so okay. that's the MPP, been very, very popular. And you guys have done a great job in the state of Texas of selling this model for us. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's definitely great. different than what our traditional bolt action guys look mm -hmm. for, but it's, yep. it's a big one. It serves a need because we've never had anything right there before, so. So that's the MPP. So it's kind of natural progression to follow that over to the modern precision rifle. Again, the modern precision rifle has a folding feature. It folds the butt stock to the bolt. So you have a smooth side to slide in a backpack or whatever, makes it very, very transportable. One good thing about the modern precision rifle is it's fully adjustable for cheek rise and length of pull with those Allen head set screws. So once you get your optic mounted to your rifle, you can adjust cheek rise and length of pull exactly to your shooter. You can custom tailor it right to you. And once you accomplish that, it's a very, very comfortable rifle to shoot. We have we offer it in a desert brown anodized chassis or black. It feeds from a magazine. We offer it with our tactical bolt knob. We offer it with our carbon fiber hand guard made right there in Gunnison, Utah, with a four inch accessory rail. And one unique feature about the MPR we offer it with our carbon wrapped barrels or a steel barreled version. So we offer a few different barrel lengths and we offer it in carbon or steel barrel and they all feature our side port brake. So the NRA 2020 rifle of the year still sells very, very well for us. And a lot of guys use it both for hunting and long range yeah, shooting. Absolutely. It's kind of a dual purple, dual purpose crossover rifle for us. So been very, very good. And you guys sell a ton of these down here. <laughs> we try. So yeah, you do a great job. This is a gun that I've probably had the most experience with in our stores, obviously, because of our traditional hunting uh, kind of mindset here in Texas. Uh, the Ridgeline has done really well at our stores for a long time. And so if you will, tell us a little bit about this, but also tell, tell our audience a little bit about the history of Christensen in regards to what Christensen really is. Doing. Sure, sure. I, kind of where we came from. Well, where you came from, you know, you know the logo says it a lot if you, yeah. if you know it, so. Yeah, in fact, it's funny, when I interviewed for my job, Jason Christensen said, Jeff, my name is on all of our rifles, and so we need to do business like, like that. And so we always have. We started 25 years ago in a garage of Roland Christensen. He got his degree, and he started aerospace carbon fiber technology in applied composite technology. So his background was in composites in an aerospace and military application. And they carried that over 25 years ago we wrapped our first gun barrel. We were the first to do it. We were pioneers in the technology. 
And so 25 years ago, we started with wrapped barrels and now here we are today. Originally, we just wrapped a barrel from an existing firearm. Today, we make our own actions, bolts, stocks, recoil lugs, barrels, muzzle brakes, almost everything on the gun is made right at our Gunnison factory. Here in the United States. Right, exactly. Wonderful news. Pretty good match again for Carter's. Yeah. And the Ridgeline is still our most popular SKU by far. It's our entry level carbon barreled hunting rifle. We sell more of these than we do anything else. Uh, it features an enhanced bolt release. It features a trigger tech trigger when it ships. It feeds from a hinge floor plate internal magazine in most applications. Again, our carbon barrel, our composite stock. And one thing different about the Ridgeline as opposed to the MPP and the MPR, it ships with a radial brake. Yeah. So we've got a radial brake on there instead of the tactical long range side port brake. So by far our most popular SKU comes in a lot of different barrel lengths and even color options. We'll Cerakote the receivers in some of them and we offer different lengths of barrels. One of the things that's emerging right now and we're seeing it and you guys are too, some hunters want a, a shorter barrel length. Absolutely. We don't, we don't all need a 24 or a 26 inch barrel. Nothing wrong to with do a 20 inch barrel. Doing. It's yeah. the same job done, same distance. Exactly, yes sir. So we've started to do a lot more variation in barrel lengths that we will accommodate. So this was our stainless steel receiver and a green black tan stock. Again, we make a black stock and we also offer Cerakoted receivers and as another color option. So it's just been a wonderful rifle for us and it will continue to be our number one SKU, I'm sure. Oh yeah, as long as at our stores, for sure, I think we carry every single one of your colors and you t -shirt coatings for the actions as well. Yes, and sir. Again, I think it's it's done it's done its justice here at this at our at our. Yeah, it certainly does well for us too. Absolutely. Then, so the, the next one's a fun this, one. Well, that's the one I'm worried, yeah. the most excited about. This so is pretty cool, and hopefully at some point we'll have a little competition with these guns because yeah. I think they're they're the they're the next big thing. So for us, this is our entry into rimfire. We did a little bit in rimfire many, many years ago, but not to this degree. Yeah. This rifle represents our own stock, a proprietary receiver, a proprietary Christensen Arms one piece optic rail. And a lot of the great things about this rifle is we've used industry proven technology and, and components in the rifle. For example, you can use any Remington 700 compatible trigger. Triggers are easily upgraded. Any Remington 700 trigger will work. We feed from a rotary magazine for a Ruger 1022. There are how many million of these out on the market? <laughs> There's just a couple. They feed well. And so we use that magazine to deliver rounds to the, to the rifle. A couple of cool things about it is we offer 20, 40, and 60 degree declinated rails for the rifle. We've got guys shooting these rifles out many hundred yards with that built-in elevation of those declinated rails. We also thread the muzzle of the rifle so it's easily suppressible. A neat thing about this rifle as opposed to the other guns we've talked about is this. This is a carbon tensioned barrel, not a carbon wrapped barrel. By carbon tensioned, what we mean is there's a stainless steel barrel inside that carbon fiber over casement. So the stainless steel barrel runs out here and then we tighten a nut on the threads and draw the stainless steel tight or tension it with that nut inside the carbon fiber over casement. And so it's not carbon wrapped directly on a barrel, it's a carbon fiber over casement over the barrel and then tensioned with a tensioning nut. Neat thing about this rifle, all of our long guns carry a sub MOE guarantee, three shots under a minute at 100. This one carries a sub MOE guarantee. We offer a guarantee of three shots under a minute at 50 yards. So essentially, we're promising whoever buys this gun three shots under a half inch at 50 yards. Pretty impressive. Yeah, not too bad for, and, and the really nice thing, and, I, and you know this, you picked it up, oh, yeah. 5.1 pounds. Very light. Phenomenally light. Yeah, it's a, it's a great addition to our lineup. And stay tuned to Carter's Country because at some point in the next little while, we may offer a few variations on that rifle. Hopefully I so. Either, I can neither confirm nor deny the potential for some calibers being introduced. Well, again, thanks for coming out. I can't appreciate appreciate the relationship enough. Oh. I hope that the decades to come that we have as, as business partners and, and our relationship with Christian just only gets better. So um, you guys deserve all the support we can give you. And like I said, we're glad to be here and we look forward to a lot more events like this with you guys. And as always, if you ever shop, shot or hunted with us, you're part of the Carter's Country family. And until next time, adios. Adios.